Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I wanted to share with you the December hip kit and embellish, embellishment add-on and paper add-on. So I'm just going to jump right in and get started because this kit is awesome. So the first, well, let me tell you a little bit of information. First of all, the main kit is $34.95, and um, if you are not a subscriber and you subs want to subscribe and you use the code Kate, you can get the pattern paper add-on free and that is $11.95 so it's a really you get about like a $12 value just for subscribing which I think is pretty cool um, and I'll have the the link below and all this information and also the coupon code and everything so let me just get started this is the Maggie Holmes shine collection this paper is called bright and it is a really fun collection I love the 3x4 cut aparts but I also like that it has some 3x3 which are fun because I do Project Life in a 9 by 12 album, so I use the 3 by 3 squares, which is really fun. So you have um, two sets of 3 by 3 and then two sets of 3 by 4 so that's really fun. The best portion of your life will be the small, nameless moments you spend with someone who matters to you. That's really cute. I like this font right here. It'll be fantastic. And the back side is an awesome black and white stripe. Can't go wrong with that. The next paper, oh, this is cute. Look at the branding strip on the bottom. That's really cute. This is from Seven Paper, which is Studio Calico. It's like a, a brand of Studio Calicos, I guess. It's from the Goldie Collection, and the papers are just numbered. So this is number two. So you have this super fun, um, kind of polka dotty, but they're kind of in rows, but they're kind of wonky. They're kind of like paint splatters. And then this, like, brush black and white stripe which is really cool I think these are from Ashley Goldberg is who designed them this is number 12 from the same collection love that and then the back is a nice diagonal these papers go so well with the the Maggie Holmes shine I'm going to show you them all together front and back so you can see this is from also from Steel Calico 7 paper but this is from the collection of Elliot and it is paper number 10 I love gray and yellow. And then a really fun, another one of those crazy polka dot patterns, which I really like. This is from the Goldie collection, and this is number eight. This is definitely Ashley Goldworks. This is totally her style. I love that paper. Oh, this is cute. Look at those circles. They're like circles, polka dots that make up circles that are wonky. This is from the Maggie Holmes Shine. It's called Treasures. It's very Dear Lizzie looking. And then I love the back side. This is one of my favorite papers. I love that. This is also a Maggie Helm Shine called Divine, I think. Really cute turquoise pattern. And then a pink ombre wood grain. I mean, yes. This is called Darling, and it's also from the Shine collection. And the back is this pink and blue stripe. So... These are the papers. So there's eight papers in this collection or in this kit. These are the one side and this is the other. I mean, they go perfectly together. I don't know how, Kimberly, I say this every month. I don't know how she does it. It's awesome. Okay, so on to embellishments. So the first one, and I think this is super fun because you will usually get like an ephemera pack in the main kit. And I love that this month we get the chipboard because this chipboard is so pretty. So it, it does have some gold glitter and it has some nice things for titles like this moments. I love this find what makes you happy. There's the big um, banner. Let me take it out of the plastic so that you can see it better and then also these frames down here um crib paper does a lot of the, these in their chipboard and they're like frames inside of frames inside of frames so you get quite a few more frames than it just than it looks like at first glance which i think is kind of fun so you get this one that's the black and the gold and then inside of that is the polka dot one with the little teal and then this little best ever is just a square but what it leaves behind also this off-white you could use as a frame too so that's really fun i like these little um pennants at the top of course a crepe paper floral 
Again, there's always a couple on a chipboard sheet that I go, how am I going to use that? And I usually don't end up. It's usually a typewriter or some kind of thing like that I have a hard time with. And I don't particularly know how to use these diamonds. But I'm going to try to figure out a way. I'm going to challenge myself to that. This is probably one of the first ones that I'll use because I love this shape. And then all of the little ones, which this one has a ton of, are super easy to use. Also, these kind of big banners are really fun too. Look at those birds. I love those. There's so much on here. And the tassels, really, really cute. I love that. Very excited for that. And then we get a whole pack of the wood veneer. And again, this is great for creating titles because it has some big pieces in it that are really good for titles and stuff like that. And then an entire roll of this American Crafts glitter tape. And this is the one that's the actual tape. That's cool. I've made the mistake of getting, I think it's called the glitter ribbon maybe, and it's, it's not adhesive on the back, which is fine, but it's so much better when it already has the adhesive like this does. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, that is a pretty color. Look at that. Like a true turquoise. Well, let me just cut this off so it's not in the way. So there's, um, not how much is on here, probably like three yards. Yeah, three yards. That's a lot. It's nine feet. Um, a pack of Heidi Swap rub-ons. There's 288 rub-ons on this sheet. So there's like circle sequins, hexagon sequins, and star sequins. They all have a little hole in the middle, which makes me think they're supposed to look like sequins. But those are really cute in tons of different colors. And then this set of thickers called Beautiful, which I love these. Um, I love the big titles. I love that it's a, an embellishment pack, really, because you get all of these different shapes and everything. And that's a lot, but you also get a backside. Love this ampersand. Really, really fun. I love these. And in the November kit, we got the... Um, alphabet that goes with this collection too so you could you know if you have some left over from your november kit you could use that with your december kit but in this kit we also get an alpha which is, is of diy thickers these are so much fun if you haven't used these i would highly recommend them first of all they're fabric and so they have like a texture to them so if you wanted to leave them plain white you totally could but they're made for different mediums so you could use mist like here it shows with a mr huey you could use heidi salt color shine you could use paint watercolor all kinds of different things on these and you get a ton 231 so you get upper and lower case and just a bunch of each letter so looks like you get eight of each vowel which is i mean a ton so that is the main kit now one of the, the, the add-ons that you can order that when when you love the paper like i do in this collection i highly or this kit i highly recommend is getting the pattern paper add-on and then you'll have two of each of the pattern papers so i mean i've already showed you these so i'm just gonna flip through them the difference between the the papers that come in the main kit and the add-on is this little doozy right here which is an acetate a glitter on acetate sheet now you're gonna see it the best when i just put it flat on my work surface omg i love this it's the same icon that's on the chipboard which are these little um circles that half is either glitter or a different color some are c contrasting colors and some are just like blue and light blue pink and red but then some are you know yellow and green so this is i just i love this and i love the way that it looks over black and white so for instance, over this paper, look how cool that looks. Oh my gosh, I love that. I could, I would paint a room like that if I could. So I definitely recommend getting the um, pattern paper add-on if you're like me and you love Maggie Holmes and think that Craver can do no wrong. So another really fun um, kit, and I always get the main kit usually and the embellishment kit, and then I try to get the paper every month but sometimes I forget or whatever um but this is the embellishment kit I think the embellishment kit just really rounds out everything for you there's definitely plenty to work with in the main kit but I just think that the embellishment kit is a lot of fun and this month it has some exclusives in it and I think they're awesome to start with is this um acrylic 2016 that is so cool let me put it on white so you can see I just love that I think that is so much fun 
and then let me zoom in a little bit actually and then you'll be able to see all of this better so you get that acrylic 2016 and then there are also some exclusive flare and don't throw away your little baggies because they are really fun this one is done in the same kind of font and color blocking as the chipboard and then we have hello with the little bird and then that really pretty mustard color with the ampersand which i just love um there's also a set of thickers in the embellishment add-on and that is the doll font which is one of my favorite fonts of thickers and they're in a glittery silver and they're all, they're foam so they're super lightweight and you can see there's no glitter in that packaging so they're not going to come off and it also comes with one set of numbers and some punctuation so those are great and then there is this these are washi stickers they're from studio calico i think they're from the goldie collection and there are so there's 24 i've never seen these before but they look super super cool so there's sheets of oh how fun there's sheets of washi tape and they you get three sheets they're all the same so those are super fun and this one says oh wait maybe you get more than that oh you get four four sheets of the same jeez so these say high five this one says dance it out <laughs> that's really fun and then the stripe pattern this cute pattern and then this is the pattern of one of the papers that we got so yeah those are cool then these are so cute i love the shape of this heart it's my favorite shape of heart which is that weird to have a favorite shape of heart oh look how cute that packaging is so these are from freckled fawn and they are puffy there's 38 they are puffy heart stickers and look how cute those are love that shape then we also get the six by six, which I love that Kimberly started putting these sometimes not, not every month in the embellishment add-on because you just get, you can get so, I mean, these kits, I can't even imagine if somebody scrapbooked, like a, had a whole lot to scrapbook in one month, you could probably make 20 or 30 layouts easily out of this kit with just these supplies which is awesome. So this is the Shine collection, which we have a bunch of the 12 by 12s, but it's really nice to have the six by six because then you can mat your photos with it and do a bunch of layering and not have to cut into your pretty 12 by 12 papers. Look how fun that is. So love that that's in there. And then last but not least, you get the ephemera pack. So you'd have the chipboard and the ephemera if you got the main kit and the add-on. Now this one is a little bit different from other crepe paper ephemera packs and the only reason why I say that it's different is because it I say only like I'll use air quotes only has 40 pieces in it and normally crepe paper kits have like tons and tons of ephemera. Personally I prefer to have less because I get super overwhelmed with packs of die cuts that are like a hundred and something pieces and I'm like I'm never going to use this all and um, it's just it's just a lot so I think this is a great amount it has um, some different things in it there are some really intricately cut die cut pieces there are also these really fun acetate pieces I'm going to try to put all of the acetate pieces out for you to see that's really cute these are so fun I love it. these acetate. Oh, I love that. It says, love this day. So it looks like those are all of the acetate pieces. And then what I meant by really intricately cut die cut pieces are these. They look like something that you would cut with a um, die cutting machine, like a silhouette or you know, a Cricut or something like that. So like this one doesn't have all the little things punched out of it, but you can see that they're, they are pretty intricate. This little black and white polka dot leaf is so cute. I think that's all of those. So really different. And then of course you get varying sizes and shapes of ephemera just as you do in most crepe paper lines. There's always some of these square pieces that I end up using for layering. This one is interesting. It's different. I'm not quite sure how I would use that. And then there's always some tags. So they have the little hole punched out of them. These are on a really nice weight of cardstock. Um, they're pretty thick. They're thicker than pattern paper, which is nice, but they're just very substantial and pretty. I love the floral. Oh, look at this cute little 
thing. Okay, so this is XO, like XOXO, you know, oh, sorry, totally in frame. This, and I, I did a video uh, already showing this collection, and I mentioned, it says OXO, which I don't know. I, maybe I would just stick it like this underneath the picture so it said XO, but that doesn't seem right to me. Another floral that says best day. Oh, I wanted to show you these two. These are really cool. So there's, let me finish showing you the ephemera pieces and I'll show you the things I forgot. So there's a little telephone, this one, and then another tag. Okay, so these are pretty cool. These are little acetate clip. They look like little clips. And what you can do with these, well, you can do anything you want with them, but what I would probably do with these is take a picture. I'm just gonna take this silly selfie of myself here. And you can stick these on the corner, on the edge of your picture. You could do it that way, or you could do it this way, depending on if you had something you wanted to cover up. You know, you could do it this way, and then um, maybe put some stickers of the date on it, or I don't know if you could stamp on acetate or not. I'm not sure, that's a good question. Maybe it stays on. Or you could do it this way and put something like a little star or heart there. They're just really fun. So you have sweet stuff, so cute, and love this. Okay, so that is everything for, oh, the embellishment add-on I forgot to mention is $27.95. So that is everything for the December um, main kit and embellishment add-on. And again, if you are not a subscriber and would like to subscribe this month, then you can use my code and get the pattern paper add-on for free. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I can't see, wait to see what you create with these beautiful kits. Bye!